part two to what if Deku was a vampire king. In this series, let's say that there's an abandoned castle. That's where Inko and Deku live. They live in an abandoned castle in uh, Japan. That's where they live, right? Yeah. They basically just live in an abandoned castle. They don't live in the city because it's too noisy. In this abandoned castle, it's also where other vampires live. They don't want to live in the city because there's too many people around. It's too noisy. They prefer, they prefer to be secluded. So this is where they train. Deku does go into the city mostly because he has to go to school. So he gets the letter. Let's say uh, for them, they have a... Basically, they have to go to a certain building in the city where Yue is to get their mail because they basically that's where they keep their like that's where they, all the mail goes Deku goes and he gets that mail it's his Yue uh, he gets his Yue letter he's accepted he got first place we skip to the first day when he walks in a class everyone's looking at him not only because he got first place, but because they think he looks weird. Some of them do, at least. Deku doesn't really care because he's been he's been looked at like this his entire life. So he just walks. He sits down at his desk. Bakugo's angry because he wanted to be first place. He still has this uh, uh, infer, 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 I can't say it, the word. He still thinks that he's better than everyone. Basically. Uh, when uh, a taco comes in, she th she thanks Deku for saving her. She says her name's Oraco Chaco. Deku says his name is Izuku Midoriya, but everybody calls him Deku for some reason. And he doesn't really care if people call him Deku. At this point, when Aizawa comes in, he says, "Go to the, uh, go to." The change into you into your gym uniforms we're doing a physical everyone is like shouldn't we go to the uh basically the enter the introduction to the school uh Isella says no you're here to be heroes go get dressed the last per the person who comes in the last place is expelled basically we we go to the uh we go to the changing room for the boys. Deku is just changing. The guys are looking at him because he's he's pale. He's really pale. They think he looks funny. And then they notice that, let's say Deku isn't really ripped, but he has a muscular physique. He has muscles. He has a more toned, lean body. He gets dressed, he leaves. Uh, we go to the, uh, in we go to the physical. Since Deku got first place, he's supposed to go to throw the ball instead of Bakugo. He throws it, he gets 1,554 feet, basically. Or meters, whatever they, is it kilometers or meters? He basically gets whatever that was. In this, Deku, first place running, first place grip strength, second place ball throw, side to side lunges, uh, first place. He gets first place in basically everything. The jump, of course, because he can just fly. Uh, everyone's just amazed by how strong Deku is, and he's putting in little effort. Some of the girls are noticing how strong he is, and they're drooling over him. That's it. Deku doesn't care about being in a relationship. He just cares about being a hero. Because throughout his life, people have said he can't be a hero because of his quirk. It makes him look weird. He has those evil villain eyes. We skip to the... Hero versus villains training. Same teams, Deku Oraka. Deku and Oraka are making the plan, saying if one of them 
saying that if they're attacked by Bakugo or Ida, Deku will just uh, put him in a trance because he has a power. Oraka's fine with this because she just uh, she knows Deku strong. She'll go ahead and well, that's it. She, she knows he's strong. She'll let him take the lead. They're walking. Deku can sense that Bakugo's coming, and he tells Oraka. So they slow down on the pace they're walking. When Bakugo, Bakugo does come into the corner, Deku just pushes him back slightly using his telekinesis. And when this happens, Bakugo is looking at him saying, Fight me, you coward. Deku immediately responds by saying, This isn't to see who's stronger, this is to see who wins. And immediately turns on his, basically, uh, demon eyes. And puts Bakugo in a trance, leaving him le left there. And Deku's demon eyes can last ten minutes. No, 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 five minutes. By the time they get to Ida, the eyes, the time limit has already gone down by half. So it's at 2 minutes 30 seconds. They get to Ida. Ida immediately charges towards Deku. Because if he can take Deku out, it'll be easier. Because if, if he's out, then Ororaka can't fight, basically. He goes towards uh, Deku. Using a full powered kick powered by his engines. Not a reciprocal burst because he hasn't learned that yet. At least that, I'm, that I know of. He attacks Deku. Deku just dodges. And Ida kicks right into a pillar. That slightly hurts his leg because of how much force he had exerted and also kicking at that pillar. It didn't hurt a lot because he has armor on his legs. So he keeps going for Deku. Oraka, he's paying no attention to Oraka. She won. She runs by Ida. She's just hiding, and Ida doesn't notice her. At this point, All Might calls out, "Hero Team wins." The reason I'm saying that is because Oraka, while Ida was distracted, has just barely got the bomb. The reason Deku didn't put a put him in a trance is because he couldn't get a straight look at Ida. Ida was too busy moving. Deku has to look into the person's eyes and put them in a trance. To uh, to put them in a trance. Anyway, uh, they go to class. Everything's the same after that. We go to the day of the USJ attack. Basically, we skip to... On the bus. That's what we're skipping to. On the bus, people ask Deku what his quirk is. Like, everyone's talking about the quirks. They ask Deku what his quirk is. He says his quirk is vampire. He has the ability to fly, turn himself into a bat, turn himself into a bat or uh, a horde of bats. He has super strength, super speed. Uh, what else? Telekinesis and demonize. They ask what demonize is because they know what everything else is. He they ask what demonize is. Deku says his demon eyes basically allow him. Once he looks into someone else, someone else's eyes, he can tell them what to do or put them in a trance to make them just do nothing. So we go to the actual USJ. Uh, we go to 13 saying that uh, your quirks can are used are supposed to be used for good, but they can be used to hurt others. This is where I'm going to leave it off for now. Uh, 